From the 30th of October to the 8th of November, 2013, the 10th Assembly of the World Council of Churches gathered in Busan, Republic of Korea, for celebration, worship, prayer, study, and work. O oh God of life, breathe new life in all our efforts for justice and peace, so that we can, together with you, declare once more that indeed it will be good again. Hear our cries. The theme of the assembly was God of life, lead us to justice and peace. It was a theme arising out of the faith pilgrimage of the church, and one that resonated across a divided Korean peninsula to the shanty towns, villages, and cities throughout Asia and worldwide, wherever injustice and poverty are to be found. More than 5,000 people from around the world gathered for the opening worship service, they gathered with prayers, hymns, songs, scripture readings and litanies to explore the call of the assembly and its theme. We pray for peace, for national reconciliation and reunification. We pray for this region, Asia, which is a place of great diversity. Let me take this opportunity, Reverend Dr. Kim, to say a warm and wholeheartedly word of thanks to you and the Korean Host Committee, representing many churches in Korea and the National Council of Churches in Korea, for the commitments and the contributions you have offered to this assembly. As hosts of the assembly, the Korean churches offered an unprecedented welcome and hand of fellowship to assembly participants, opening their churches for prayer and encounter. Thousands of volunteers assisted with organizing all that was needed to allow participants from around the world to come together in fellowship and to do the work of the ecumenical movement. They also shared the story of their journey as a people, their pain and suffering as a people divided between North and South Korea, the joy and songs of their faith, and their hopes for a just and peaceful future. During the 10-day assembly, the churches and people of Korea also opened their doors and hearts to the assembly participants, who during the weekend traveled across South Korea on visits that exposed them to the heart of Korea and the Korean experience. All of this was done in a spirit of celebration and prayer that brought joy and hope. In the ecumenical movement, 
At the core of any WCC assembly are the business meetings, where, as in Busan, some 750 delegates representing the 345 member churches gather to wrestle with the role of how the WCC, its diverse member churches, and the 560 million Christians they represent worldwide can witness to the enduring love of Christ while forging unity within the church. When we spoke of unity, we didn't also reflect on our diversity. I would like to present... At the 10th Assembly, the business meetings advanced the theme of the Assembly, calling for a more pronounced role for the church in bringing about justice and peace. I see only orange... Well, I do see one blue card there, or do you have the... But beyond worship and business, the assembly is also about fellowship. Welcome to Canada! The Ma Dang Hall, named for the Korean courtyard where all are able to speak without fear, became the place where the assembly participants found ways to listen, talk, participate, watch and rest. The hall became the single most popular location at the assembly, featuring music, dance, special speakers, a bookstore, cafes, a press center, and some 100 exhibitors. It was a true space for encounter and engagement. The democratic shift of Christianity to the global south does not only affect its geographical center of gravity, but also its generational composition. There is and will be a much younger face of Christianity in the future. The ecumenical movement in the 21st century has to be shaped by this younger generation. So we have with us 121 young persons coming from all regions and bring to the service of this assembly many gifts and abilities, as well as passion for the church. Once again, let's give them a big hand. The involvement of youth in the ecumenical movement, as well as the community of men and women, indigenous communities, and those with disabilities, became crucial to the process of formulating the outcomes of the assembly, which is moving the church and its partners forward on the pilgrimage of justice and peace. Seek justice. Seek good. Seek good and not evil that you may live. Who is big if you don't? Who is big if you don't? Who is big if you don't? Through plenary sessions, Bible studies, and ecumenical conversations, the assembly offered the participants ways to explore the theme of the assembly in depth. Our future is very bright. Today's plenary on mission is informed by the new World Council of Churches statement on mission and evangelism. The new statement declares that the church we is commissioned to celebrate life. life. As we leave this hall, this auditorium, let us... A series of plenaries on the theme Asia, Mission, Unity, Justice and Peace illuminated discussions of the next steps in the pilgrimage of justice and peace. We want to draw each of you into a community of reflection on what unity in Christ means for us today. For where two or three are gathered in my name, I am there among them, a divine theophany. We give testimony to... So what is unity for me? I need to begin with my context as a young South African woman in my early 20s. For within my lifetime, we have claimed our rainbow nation. The native peoples of the north 
are prophetically reminding the rest of, of the earth's nations of God's call to live faithfully upon the land. The unity that is Jesus our Savior in our midst is revealed as our only hope and our only option. And as young people who are living with HIV, we've got a lot of questions. I wonder if I may, if I may get married and have children. So it is very important that sexual reproductive health should be discussed in our churches because some of the questions which we have can be answered by our church readers. And lastly, I would like to pinpoint on this. HIV and AIDS is not, is not a punishment from God. It is just a disease. So let's join us in the fight of this disease. Thank you. So you can decide to forgive someone or the person can come to you and apologize. Forgiveness and apology is in the circle. In some instances, we need to step up and offer forgiveness if we must move forward. And it begins with forgiving ourselves and then forgiving our political leaders. Because until we do that, all we will have to give our children is a country filled of conflict, makes history, and a lot of hate.